here at the sounding board and today we're going to talk about WWE Elite Collection. I mean WWE Elite Collection. Molly Holly from the Legends. The exclusive target line. She's on clearance. What the hell? You know, when you can get wrestlers on clearance to look at, they're worth, uh, worth the, uh, the, the chance to talk about them. And Molly Holly was one of those characters that was cousin to Bob Holly and then uh, Crash Holly. And she was side, this is the sidekick version to uh, the Hurricane. And she's supposed to be a superhero. So here's what the package looks like. It has Molly Holly on it. Molly Holly on the back. And talks about her statistics. She has a classic open hands. A spare classic Molly Holly head. And she's tied in with a stupid uh, lap. Cape tape down. Yes, it is. And here's what Molly Holly looks like out of the package. She has her Molly Holly cape. Molly Holly symbol on it, which I'm surprised they've never done a, a, a t-shirt with this. So here she looks like from the front, the side, the back, the side, and the front again. And that's what she looks like from the back with the cape up. She has standard uh, WWF joints, and the figure is made with the closed fist, and the cape has Velcro so you can remove it, so when she goes into the ring she can actually wrestle correctly. The hair is cut real awkward right here around the shoulders. She's got the knee joints, the ankle, thigh, hip is kind of tight. Actually, the hip is kind of small to move. They should have bigger legs on a, th on a, on a, on a uh, hip joint that doesn't allow mobility or the no it's not that it's just that there's no ability to space here to move it so Molly here is more of a standing figure than a uh, playing figure
what her other head looks like. Oh, I know what it is. They shoved a jean joint legs on the uh, short, uh, the shorts. One of the things that's interesting about Molly Holly, she should be shorter than other divas. And she's actually taller. Because Molly Holly was a really short female wrestler. Here's Nina Jax to compare to him. At least she's shorter than Nina. But Alyssa Bliss is shorter than her. And basically Molly Holly has this hip joint. Which is designed for this kind of leg, not these thicker legs here. So it impedes the movement of the legs because you can feel there's no key that's give on the hip it's just that there's not enough movement to get the spacing so they can do that plus you can sit in a truck and that's about it She's not. She's a nice-looking figure in the sense of the replica of her, but from mobility and playability in the ring, she's really kind of like Nina Jax, limited. She has a lot. She has flaws in her hip. And Molly Holly, if I remember correctly, was a person that did a lot of kicks and a lot of leg mobility, not so much punching. But you could take the paint off this this part here. I think this is molded black, so you can't really do much with the with the figure customizing wise, because this is black all the way down, and this is flesh here. So you can't build a whole different figure out of it. Unlike Alyssa Bless, which you could take this figure, clean this all up, file this down nicely, and you can have her topless. And then uh, have black trunks, and this, this hip piece is black, so you'd have to paint this. Molly, you're pretty much stuck with limited mobility, limited posability, because the hair impedes the head movement. And for some reason, the divas are a little bit more interesting to talk about than the male guys. Because the male guys don't suffer any flaws due to the way they're built. But we'll stop there. And until next time, this is the sounding board, signing off.